my time to help out with the minks because I wanted to help other people and just give back to the place that I love. When I first arrived here, uh, the, the place has just got such a good vibe about it and you feel really welcome. I've always had an interest in youth work, so uh, following on from me referring my own son, I ended up volunteering here myself. One of the reasons I come to the mix to give my time is I think it's really important to encourage young people to think about their dreams and what they want to do, what it is for them, what they want to pursue. I came in and had a coffee here and read some of the things that were on the on the, the blackboard in the in the youth hall, looked at some of the, the posters and um, I was actually amazed by the kind of values and the ethos that were really um, singing out in those in those words and I thought well this will be a nice place to uh, to belong to really. So the one piece of advice I would give to someone who was thinking about joining our team is to simply do it. It's really easy to get caught up in thinking about not being good enough, not being able to connect with young people, what if they don't like me, it's really easy to start thinking in that way. Um, whereas I would say put that to one side and think about how much richer your life could be from connecting with young people, um, not just for them but for you too. It made me feel appreciated as well for doing something that um, I really want to do. I'd like to do that as a career maybe, haven't got any qualifications, didn't even have any work experience in this area. Um, but just being able to come along, be here, supervise, to have a chat with somebody, um, it's just given me that extra thing in my life that um, my job alone wasn't given me. Before I started coming here, I was probably fairly immature and then sort of not very confident. So I would quite happily step outside the comfort zone now rather than just sort of staying smack bang in the middle. It gives me a really good sense of well-being. Um, it's really good to be able to offer something back to the community and I think that's something that we do. Um, so yeah, for me, it's, it's just made me feel like I'm actually giving something back. The scariest moment at the mix this is it now. Um, this is really hard. I find talking in front of a camera, actually talking in front of people, really difficult and very uncomfortable. But if it gets one young person through the door and they can come and be inspired and try new things, meet new people, make friends and pursue their dreams, then it's worth me being uncomfortable for two minutes. Uh, the one piece of advice I'd give to anyone uh, wanting to join the mixed team is do it. Don't hold yourself back thinking you have nothing to contribute because that's what I thought originally. Um, come along, speak to Dave, speak to the team here and they will find a place for you. If you feel that's what you want to do, they'll find a place for you. I think I learn every time I come into the into the mix and I develop. I'm, I think I'm more uh, positive and uh, I, I, I think I feel younger actually, <laughs> which is good.